chakra report the other day and I was observing the numbers where my karma was, uh, was stored. And one thing in particular that stands out, me who works with energy, is the heart chakra. Now, the heart chakra that we have, which is stored here in the middle, it's color green. It's actually the ability to give out and receive healing love. It's not that romantic kind of energy, but it's more of the calmness and acceptance of oneself. So, given that I have that report, I meditated with it, and there you go. At least I have a feeling of relief, and I continuously practice it, and now I know that I'm working with my heart chakra. Chakra Candles by Sal. Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. We're doing your Divine Feminine. How is everyone? Did you guys uh, watch the other reading? We uploaded probably the other day there was a message for you. That's for the Divine Feminine. Good morning, everybody. Okay, let's start with using our Sorcerer's deck. It is uh, available in the description box below um, for if you are interested in our own creation. And don't forget, for the Divine Feminine, um, we have now how-to videos for some of our um, products, so check it out, you know, it's like so that you can see how we use it, okay? So you get the whole experience, all right? Let's see what's going on. For my divine feminine, this is too early for this shirt. It says Saz, that's my middle name. <laughs> Here we go, let's see. The divine feminine, this has no genitalia. This is literally just about you. Okay, whoever is watching right now, normally it's the yin side of the relationship. And then let's see. Okay, so let's see what's going on. Ooh, gonna spite the noodles. Yeah, mm -hmm. here we go. Let's see. Ooh, seven of cups options, choices, dreams, desires, and things that you're trying to manifest is what's coming. Okay, um, if you have options, it only means that you are in the market. Mm hmm. You're shopping, yeah, okay, so, you know what I say, you know, collect and collect and then select, all right? Because that's what it is here. Um, you're gonna be looking at different cups of love, if it's if, if you want love, but normally these are things that you are trying to manifest. It's coming to reality, but sometimes it can get overwhelming and you feel like, oh my God, this one, and then this one, and then that one. So you feel like, man, like this thing just keeps, you know, all these things just keeps coming and coming towards you, okay? Now, you do have a Ten of Wands, and it feels like on your end, um, let's just say that uh, relationship has been a struggle, okay? No matter who you're talking to, it's just been difficult, yeah. You always put in the time, you know, you put in the work, and you're just climbing that hill over there, and it's like, why do I have to put all this effort, okay? Now, if it's your dreams right now, it is looking like, you know, Everything that you have worked hard for is slowly materializing, all right? So no efforts was lost. Okay? Your effort is now taking, uh, how to say this? It's materializing, meaning you're probably getting some gains, acknowledgement, um, and offers, yeah? Ooh, love, okay. You have the Ace of Swords, which only means that um, you have a clear mind, okay? So you're not going to buy anybody's bull crap. Because sometimes we're just, we just like to buy it, Sal. You know, like all their excuses, all the things that they would tell you, just keep accepting it. Because if Seven of Cups was lies, which sometimes it is, all right, you can totally see a bullcrap, not just a mile away, 3,000 light years away. You know, a bullcrap from a bullcrap, yeah. So you cannot be played, which is good. You're not going to put effort anymore for anything that does not help you. Because you know how you are a person who keeps saying yes, yes, yes. Now is it time for you to say no, no, no. Okay, no. <laughs> You're spicy for such early. Okay, let's see here. Now, you next you have here is the Empress. I mean, hello. Okay. Why are you in the Empress mode? Because you don't give an F right now. If you see the Empress card over here, um, she is, of course, you know, um, enveloped in that red cloak over there. Um, you know, that symbolizes, of course, passion and love. And there's the heart over there with the stars. So life starts manifesting, okay, with you on the brighter side with the Seven of Cups because you, uh, you know 
okay? That you are just anchoring yourself with the truth. So the more that your head is clear, the more that you see that life is going to be this direction, you keep going, keep going, and you start cutting down your losses, you have more for yourself. That's the Empress. You know, that's the only reason why you will have more abundance is because you're cutting down the losses. Yeah? Mm -hmm. You have Wheel of Fortune, two goodness gracious cards that brings abundance, prosperity, and luck. The difference of Wheel of Fortune is that you got to take a leap of faith with Lady Luck. Have, when was the time that you take a chance on yourself for being single empress that you are? Because sometimes, you know, there is that energy of Venus, which is in the feminine, right? Like you need a partner, you know? So now you're saying, say, I don't need no one. I got this. I got this. Yeah, mm, it's true. Now, there can also be someone who's fated to be, to be uh, that you will meet someone new. Can be because Ace of Swords, after you cut down your losses, here comes someone new. All right. Huh. Woo. Yes. Everything is just lining up. All right. Line them up, boys. Line them up. Wheel of Fortune with the Star card. Divine timing is at work. This is strike while the iron is hot. For me, I curl while the iron is hot. I'm kidding. But it's looking like your determination to start a new beginning in life. You will receive the benefits. The Star and the Seven of Cups. As above, so below, basically. Now what you're manifesting is coming to reality. It's like every day is just like magic. Okay, your dreams that you never thought that will happen started happening. And one good news after another, after the other. So you are in a winning streak with regards to your um, dreams. I don't feel the relationship. Just say honest, yeah? <laughs> and then now, of course, with the I said, I don't feel the relationship. <laughs> and then there it is. The relationship, the hierophant. So um, the truth is... <laughs> You're going to be with someone. Mm -hmm. The Hierophant is marriage, relationship, and partnership, and it is structured. Now, if it's a business that you're trying to launch, it can be, it can rise to success with the star card. Fame, of course, glory is there. But the Hierophant is structured, so make sure that you're putting in the, the right foundation, not just the NC20, but you got to go at least NC30. Um, <laughs> here we go. Four of Swords. Now, since the person did not care about you, you could give it, you know, like, yeah, whatever with them, you know. So they're still, I don't know why they're not talking to you with the Four of Swords. And you have gone through so much transformation. Like, you have outgrown the person that you have connected once. Mm -hmm. Now, here's the thing. When things are coming to you, um, one thing after the other, with the hangman, you need to make sure that you take some time. Okay? Because the hangman is a fortunate delay. The hangman would be an introspective card right now. You got to go outside the box. Think outside the box. If it's a business, think outside the box. If if it's your career, think outside the box. Okay? Because that's the only way that you will not be a victim of your old choices. Right? Because remember how you keep going in a toxic pattern? It's because you never go outside the box so that you can analyze the problem, the situation on a third person. Third, you know, like an outside perspective. That's the hangman. Mm -hmm. That's why I like the hangman. That's why it's enlightened, you know. And this is also thinking like, okay, what should I compromise about myself? Yes. Next, you have here is the two of cups under the star card. I mean, hello. Okay. Hello, love. Okay. Hello, destined love. <laughs> two of cups with the lovers. Let me explain this. Two of cups. Who's meant for you is always meant for you, right? Um, that's just how the universe works. I mean, of course, good and bad, that's the thing. But here, it's looking like the good is coming your way. The bad, you've already dealt, okay? Now, Hangman with the Two of Cups, if you are thinking that you're stuck with someone right now, I really don't see it because with the Ace of Swords, with the Hangman, you should have cut that person off long time so that you can align yourself with a Two of Cups. Chances are this is the only part that you will resonate and then after, chances are you're not because if you're removing the past, then this is all the future now. Mm-hmm. You have the King of Coins, which is very stable. Um, Career-wise, this is going to be good. Um, Financial-wise, it's going to be good. You're solid for uh, for this read. And it's actually like meeting someone that resonates with you because you guys are in the same mindset of settling down. Got it. Marriage material. Hierophant? Yes. And here we go. An engagement. Ace of Pentacles. So, I mean, with the Four of Swords. Someone who you haven't heard from because the Ace is a messenger wants to talk to you. Someone you've never heard from. I'm not sure who this person is. You've probably never heard from a new person. Then a new person will come. But with the Four of Swords, someone that you have encountered before has been holding back on this communication. 
We will see in the extended what are they holding back. Link down there in the description box below. I feel like it can be connected from the other day because there was a message there and the message is still here. All right. Thank you very much guys for watching. Link down there and everything that you need is at eatreadlove.me, the number one metaphysical store in the universe, five galaxies and going strong. <laughs> and follow me on Instagram at Salvadora. Bye guys.